In this video, we will learn about the tools on your view menu. The first function allows you to refresh. The second option is the slow redraw function, which is a player that simulates the way the machine will stitch out. The third function is the zoom tool, which allows you to zoom in and out. The fourth option is the pan feature, which is the hand tool that allows you to move around the workspace easier. A shortcut to accessing the hand tool is to click the space bar on your keyboard. Even if you have another tool selected, the space bar will allow you to access the hand tool and move around your workspace. The realistic option enables realistic view, which displays a 3D stitch view. The grid option enables or disables the grid lines in the background. The stitches option allows you to enable or disable the stitches view so that you can only see the outline of the object that you have selected. The stitch ends option allows you to see the points in which each stitch will end. This is used for fine-tuning edges or viewing the angle of a stitch. The commands option allows you to view any commands that you have set on your embroidered design, such as trim in a specific location. While the software automatically creates trims, you can manually select certain stitches and apply a trim command to them. The Artworks view allows you to enable or disable the view of any artwork in your workspace so it doesn't get in your way. The Hoop view option allows you to select which hoop you'd like to view your design in. The Ricoma hoop dimensions are preset into the software. However, you can create your own hoop boundaries when you select New. The Start and Stop view displays the center of your design. The Last Stitch view displays where the design will end. The Ruler view selects the ruler tool for you to measure distances. The Backdrop view allows you to hide or show the backdrop. You'll use the backdrop when you digitize manually. You may also access the majority of the view tools across the top panel.